species relationships out there as a result of what we've done for 100 plus years. We've got to create, protect, in many cases, restore habitat. Cape Perpetual Marine Reserve is located north Yahats, all the way past Casita Head, which is just north of Florence. In the south, we have the Sea Lion Caves. It's the largest sea cave in the Americas. And it's home to stellar sea lions. But there's a number of other marine mammals that use this nearshore habitat, including harbor seals, and then we'll see gray whales, pigeon guillemots, and, as well as common mirrors, and of course the marble marillette, that elusive seabird that lives on the ocean, but nests in the old growth habitat. So it's one that is an incredible story about this little seabird, about the size of a robin, that has to go down and catch its forage fish, that's like sardines, anchovies, herring, things like that. It can go down to 200 feet, pop to the surface, and it has to go into the forest. It flies like 50 miles an hour. So it's a totally unique life history. And uh, they nest in the upper canyon. They don't build a nest. It's basically on the moss of these ancient forest trees. They make a little nest cup in one egg. So it's a really unique life history. And this area is the, has been identified as one of the most significant uh, areas for the northern Europe. So we have a number of projects around Cape Perpetual. Sea star wasting, seabird monitoring, water quality monitoring. It's a great opportunity for citizens to engage. We realize that this is going on all over the world. Conservation areas in the ocean, conservation areas in the uplands. It's just by chance for us, we've got one that links the, a large landscape, 100,000 acre block of uplands, connects to a nearshore conservation strategy, the Cape Perpetual Marine Reserve Marine Protected Area.